This video will teach you how to write a plan for an informative, interesting essay that responds to the contest prompt. Before we begin, let's review what the assignment is. This is the contest prompt from the NWABR website. If you need to read it, stop the video to review, then go on. So there's a couple different components for this topic. First, how does my topic relate to my life? How has it affected my life? Second, what are the biomedical breakthroughs or biotechnology that I'm interested in explaining to my reader? And three, how has animal research contributed to these breakthroughs? For the question of how does a topic relate to my life? How has it affected my life? There's basically a few different ways. First of all, maybe someone you know has had that medical condition. Maybe you have a pet who's been affected. Maybe you'd like to be a researcher in that area when you grow up. Or maybe it's something that protects all of us and keeps us healthy. For the next two components, we're going to need to start to do our research. This is where we do the close reading and analysis. So I'm modeling this process with my um, example of primary sclerosing cholangitis. And in doing my background research, I discovered that the thing that interests me most is organ transplants, because the only effective cure for PSC, ultimately, once the liver fails, is to get an organ transplant, to get a liver transplant. So I did a search for animal research and liver transplant, and I came up with these sources. All right, I've looked at about 10 sources and taken extensive notes. Now I want to sift through all those notes and say, what are the main breakthroughs and transplants that animal research has contributed to? I went through and made a list of these six that I thought were important. I also numbered the sources on my notes and wrote the number of the source next to the bullet point so I could keep track of where the information came from. So where it says parentheses one at the end of the first bullet point, that corresponds in my notes to source one, and I have the whole URL written down and other source information there. This is just for my planning here. So now I'm going to use these bullet points to plan my essay. And now we're at the planning stage. Some people call this making an outline. It's a little less formal than that, so we're just calling it an informational essay plan. This is where I'm gonna kind of bucket my evidence and try and figure out how I'm gonna put this information into paragraphs. Your overall structure is likely to look like this, not required, but likely. You're gonna have an introduction that has a hook, a lead-in, and a controlling idea statement or claim. It's going to have a paragraph, possibly two, that consists of a description or background of the disease and condition. Your reader needs to know, what is this condition? What, what does it cause? What are the symptoms? What's it like? Then you're going to have two to three paragraphs where you discuss animal research contributions or breakthroughs. Those might be paragraphs three through five. And finally, you're going to have a conclusion. What we really need to decide before we write anything is what our controlling idea is. Your controlling idea is the main idea that you want the reader to know about. It's going to help us organize the paper. It's how we're gonna order our paragraphs of animal research contributions. And it is the idea that all of our evidence in all of the paragraphs is going to support. So it's important we know what that is before we begin writing. When I go back to my points, I see that I have a problem. I have six bullet points, but really only three paragraphs. So what I need to do now is re-bucket these into three different breakthroughs that I can actually discuss. I'm gonna to have to let something go here. When I look across these, I see that the first two are both research that led to the first successful human transplants. That's important, but it happened like 30, 40 years ago. So it's old news. I think I'm gonna to have to let go of those. Also, the middle two remaining ones are related to each other. They're trying to raise pigs to use pig organs for human transplant. 
but they're going to try putting pig organs into baboons first. So really these three ideas go together. Now I have three bullet points, one for each paragraph in my essay. Next, I need to figure out what connects these three ideas. What um, do I really want people to know that these three ideas all relate to? That's gonna be my controlling idea. I know that my controlling idea is something about animal research, something about biomed breakthroughs, and something about my life. And in looking at those bullet points, the first thing I really want people to know is that thanks to animal research, liver transplants give patients like my husband, Matt, the hope for a full lifetime. Another thing I realize connects them all is that they all are helping to deal with the problem of organ scarcity. Not everyone who needs a liver transplant gets one, and in their different ways, each of those breakthroughs is helping to create more organs for transplant. That's an important idea. And that there's three ways that animal research is working to make more organs. And I've kind of summarized what each of those bullet points is in a numbered list here. Okay. So my controlling idea is something about animal research is helping doctors increase the number of organs for transplant. And they're doing this in three ways. One, by making existing organs last longer. Two, by getting more organs by taking some from live transplant donors. And in the future, not now, but in the future, they might try and use pig organs or other animal organs for human transplant. So I've got my controlling idea here. I'm gonna be talking all about how animal research is helping the problem of organ scarcity. And I've got three specific examples of research that is doing that. Each of those buckets is going to be a full paragraph and I've got my sources for each paragraph listed there. Now, I'm gonna go um, tackle the other parts of my outline. But before I do, if I were doing a project on cancer research, you might have a controlling idea like this, that animal research is leading research to breakthroughs in cancer treatment, including one about personal avatars, one about using the body's immune system or immunotherapy, and another paragraph might be about nanotechnology. So your goal right now is to take your research notes, decide what the major breakthroughs are, put them all of your different sources into different buckets, decide what the main idea of each bucket is. You can label the bucket if that helps you decide the main idea. And then say, what do these things all relate to? What is the controlling idea that unites these? Once you've filled out your um, bucketing side of the worksheet, then you can go over and look at um, beginning to do some drafting of the introduction, the descriptive paragraph, and each of these body paragraphs. There are separate videos for some of those. Good luck.